Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess it's the bare naked ladies. Everything mentioned in the song "One Week Sausage." And before we start, let me just say, dreams really do come true. For over a year, this guy on Twitter has been bothering me about it almost every single day. My question to that guy is, what are you gonna do now? Let's see what we all got here. I summon fish to the dish. Although I like the chalet Swiss, I like sushi cause it never touched the frying pan. Hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes. I like a stinking aching shake, which we're gonna have to make ourselves. I like vanilla cause it's the finest of the flavors. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. Today we're going with General Sows. Or so's. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. And like Snickers, guaranteed to satisfy. Shove everything we can, everything pre-made in there. Now the lyrics are a little disambiguous. It, it could be referring to a Chinese drumstick, but for the life of me, I, I don't know what that is. Oh, my fingers are so greasy and chickeny. That's, that's a terrible milkshake. This chalet swish may get its own sausage episode. Stuff's leaking out of there already and we haven't even started. Where's the hole? It's always, it's a game of cat and mouse to find that hole. And there goes the rest of it. Hey, you kids want to see a dead body? Gross. Clear out everything that wasn't coming out. First impressions. What have I done with my life? This this is a wet sausage for sure. This is this is gonna be baked and not pan seared. This is there's just there's it's it's got a funk you wouldn't believe. It's been one week since you looked at me. Uh, I, I can't think of any sausage puns. I'm I'm this is so gross. This reminds me of the time I went out drinking and ate a bunch of shawarma. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks like cat puke. In three, two, one. Let sausage. It just keeps growing. I, I can't believe that there was this much sausage to be made in there. It's so heavy. What have we done? With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist. This guy! Oh my god, it's the Cronenberg Sausage. This Will It Blow is brought to you by Manscaped. It's that time of year again, which means we're skipping right over Thanksgiving. This year, give yourself the gift of cleaning and trimming the hair down in your underwear. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 isn't just the perfect gift to give yourself, but more importantly, the person who can't stop vomiting when they look at you naked. It comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 Waterproof and Cordless Body Hair Trimmer for when you need to trim excessive uh, gift wrapping. And hey, while we're at it, let's not forget the people that have to look at your face. Use the Weed Whacker to trim that nose and air hair like somebody that cares about their physical appearance. The Performance Package 4.0 also comes with the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray because newsflash, people can smell you too. Manscaped is even playing Santa this year by throwing in two free gifts with their Performance Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag. Get your jingle bells ready for the holiday by going to manscaped.com and use code SAUSAGE20 for free shipping and 20% off. That's 20% off plus free shipping with promo code SAUSAGE20 at manscaped.com. So will it blow? Oh my god! It's like the aftermath of drinking an espresso! So I'm gonna have to give that will it blow five Mark Ruffalos! I'm not gonna poke it because it's gonna leak out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it in the toaster oven for an hour at like 300. I also think that linking them will, will increase the pressure for them to burst. So this is, this is going in just like this. Here we go! Oh, I hit the camera. All right, we're about halfway done and things are actually looking really good. Well, all right, I, I had it in there for about an hour and a half. I don't think there's any bursts. Well, all right, let's uh, open it up, see how we did. 
It's still incredibly mushy. It smells good, though. It smells like that Swiss chalet. Swiss chalet and wasabi. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it, it's, it's actually really good. Texture-wise, it's no good. But the flavor, it's really good. It tastes mostly like General Tso's chicken and that Swiss chalet sauce. Listen, there ain't nothing wrong with that Swiss chalet sauce, I tell you what. Really, flavor-wise, I don't have any complaints about this sausage. I think I can taste a little bit of the Snickers in there. I think the vanilla milkshake's getting muted by, by everything else. Well, you can see what kind of a sloppy sausage this is. But despite what it looks like on the inside, it's... It's really jam-packed with some good flavor. It's it's just so mushy. It, it's not quite a four, but it's not quite a three either. So I'm going to have to give this sausage here a three and a half out of five. Bop, 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 bop.